Thanks for joining me today on bowhuntingmag.com. We're talking about how to time a drop away arrow rest. And this goes back to the center shots column from the August uh, 2011 issue of the magazine. And the key is you've got to give the arrow a certain amount of guidance as it's traveling forward. A certain percentage of its forward travel, about six inches or so, the arrow rest needs to be in contact with the arrow. And this keeps the arrow from finding its own center and provides you with a lot more consistency as you're shooting. If the arrow rest drops away too soon, then the arrow has a tendency to find its own center and often will even uh, drop down and shoot a little bit low. So it'd be like trying to push, push a uh, pencil across a desk with your finger. If you stay right behind it, you can guide it, you can kind of get it halfway in the direction you want it to go, but if you run another finger on the side of it and push it, it's real easy to guide it in the direction that you want it to go. So you get that consistency, same thing with an arrow rest. So you set the timing of a drop away arrow rest with the length of the cord that attaches to the rest and attaches to the, the uh, cable on the bow. And typically, the uh, people who have done a lot of slow motion videography of the arrow rest determine that as long as the arrow rest hits its full height when you're about two inches from the end of your full draw cycle. So you're, you know, the, the release date is two inches before you hit full draw and the arrow rest has just popped up to its full height. Inertia of the rest dropping and the speed of the arrow moving forward you're going to get about five or six inches of contact between the arrow rest and the arrow until the rest drops away. So think of it in those terms. Keep shortening up your cord until the rest comes up two inches shy of full draw. If it comes up too soon, you're putting too much stress on the rest with that cord because you're pulling on it for too long and you're, just, you're going to damage your rest at some point. So keep that in mind and you'll find that you'll shoot more consistently with drop away arrow rests. Thanks for joining me. We'll be back again next month for the next episode of Center Shots column on bowhuntingmag.com.